We begin today in Syria, where an attack on a refugee camp in Aleppo claimed at least 30 lives. It was hit on Thursday, and it's still unclear who carried out the attack, the latest in the renewed spiral of violence gripping Syria over the last two weeks. Rebel forces say it was an airstrike by the government, but Moscow says it has data showing that a terrorist organization might be behind it. RT's Alexei Yaroshevsky has the report. Thursday's attack on Aleppo refugee camp could have been carried out by the Al-Nusra Front militants, according to Russia's defense ministry. Its experts analyzed the damage pattern, and it's clearly suggested rocket artillery use. Russian defense ministry spokesman said on Friday that the camp could have been shelled either intentionally or by mistake by rocket artillery, and that such weapons are in active use in that area by militants from the terror group Al-Nusra Front. He specifically added that there were no airstrike shell craters or other signs of an airstrike. Moscow also analyzed airspace objective control data for that area between May 4th and May 5th, saying that there were no flights of any air force over there on these days. That quashes the mantra repeated by most of the world media that the camp was hit from the air, first distributed by UK-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. Kanashenkov also stated there was no solid evidence to suggest that the attack may have been carried out by the Syrian government forces, something that UK Foreign Secretary Secretary Philip Hammond claimed almost immediately in the wake of the attack. Sana News Agency reported a statement from Damascus strongly denying any involvement in this bombing. And former Pentagon official Michael Malouf sees no sense in government attacking the camp too. Look, it's, it's Nusra's interest to um, put to cast as much aspersion on the Assad government as possible. And I don't think Assad Assad's military would uh, undertake such an, an effort, considering that it's part of the ceasefire. It has, it's uh, the Russian government has, and, and Assad have agreed that they're going to go for a ceasefire, and it just would be contrary to anything that uh, 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 has been agreed to, and certainly by the Russian government, in which which has an, a, a major influence over uh, President Assad. So I just find it. Uh, ludicrous that uh, it was an airstrike number one, either by uh, the Russians or or the um, uh, or the Syrians, and the White House is claiming that there was no uh, U.S. activity. This latest tragedy in the refugee camp, which has been home for 2,000 people, adds a lot more fuel to the fire in Syria, where the much lauded ceasefire struck in February seems to have effectively collapsed. UN envoy on Syria told RT last week that the only way out of the Syrian quagmire was resuming diplomatic effort in Geneva. Still, there has been no indication that these talks may restart. That's while death toll in Syria over the last few weeks has gone into hundreds from both sides. Alexei Roshevsky, RT, reporting from Washington, D.C.